Hello everyone, this is Kayla here. Happy Monday. Now, normally we've been doing a little bit of, um, just a small little um, program on a Monday, just something for you all to do at home, just something, just something extra to do. So today, since it's so nice and warm out and sunny, I thought we'd get out and get out in nature, which I'm out here in the back of the library. And so, um, and do some nature sun art, okay? Now, before I get going, I wanted to remind you, I did put out a reminder, but I'm gonna go ahead and promote it as well. Don't forget the month in nature packets are ready. June is available. You can come by and pick it up so you'll be ready to go. If you have adults, this is, you know, it'd be something good for you to do, but um, children, this is something really, I think, more geared towards your age, but um, anybody can do it. Um, but if you've got children or grandchildren and love to be outside, this is something for you to do. It's awesome. It's an awesome program that we've been doing this year. We started it back in January. Miss Shelley um, got it going and that we're doing it. So it is a phenomenal thing to do. It's just getting outside in nature, finding things, you know, stuff you may not have ever seen before. There may be a bug or a plant of some sort or a tree for that matter. So it's um, super, super cool. Uh, so don't forget June packets are ready So what I wanted to show you today if you wanted to get outside and do something Something else, you know, don't take a whole lot It's, it's super super cheap some kind of activity or a craft or art if you love art um, And you want to be outside this is it Whoop. I'm lose my paper here <laughs> Okay this is nature sun art. Now as you can tell, I've already made one up. It's easy to do. Now you can find the paper for this. It's actually called sun art paper. You can get that online, like on Amazon or some other stores. But um, it's kind of, it's a little bit of expensive. It's not a whole lot. But I thought I would try another way. I'm all about trying to go ahead and find a different direction that may be a little bit cheaper. And so I found this way online. And this is actually construction paper. And all you need is construction paper, either some kind of plexiglass, or the super cheap way, find you some plastic wrap. So saran wrap, that's all you need. Now what you need to do is, is to find some leaves or some sticks. You can lay a stick on it um, or some leaves. And what you want to do is to place your leaves on in different spots of your paper, okay? Now I would tape them down, just put a little small piece of tape on them, that way they'll stay. Go outside, find a place that won't be disturbed or anything like that. Like I found mine in the back parking lot back here in the um, little section that where nobody parks at. And I left it there. Leave it for about three hours. That's what I did with mine. And it super, super did great with it, okay? So at least three hours. If you wanna leave it all day, that's perfectly fine as long as it ain't gonna rain. But what you do is once you get all your different things um, set, you can put them in every which way you want to, okay? Like I'm gonna put a leaf here. I'll put a stick here. Now, once you get all this on here and stuck, lay it down flat on the surface, okay? Outside where the sun just beams on it, hits. You don't want it, you know, gone. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your uh, sheet of plastic wrap over top of it, make it tight. Now what I did is I used some books and put around it and to make, the st to make it stay. Now you can, if you, you can use anything, you can use a bucket, rocks, whichever you have, but make sure it's laying completely flat and everything is flat, not moving, and you got all the edges sealed um, with something over it to hold it down, okay? That way it don't blow away leave it for three hours and this is what you get now as you can see the sun has i mean it just fully it turned the paper kind of white it works better with dark construction paper so you'll want the dark the darker the paper the better um and that way it stands out a whole lot more the lighter it would be it wouldn't stand out quite as well but as you can see it kind of faded out in the middle and left where it's still blue where I had all of my leaves at. 
So if you love art and you love nature, try this activity that is super, super cool. You do not have to buy the sun art paper for to do this. If you've got construction paper, go out, find, go out in nature, find your items you want to put on your paper for your art. And then some saran wrap, plastic wrap, and something to hold it down, and that's all you need. So I hope you enjoyed this little activity that you can do outside and enjoy this wonderful, wonderful warm weather, okay? If you love to read, enjoy your reading your book outside. So enjoy this warm weather while we can, okay? And don't forget, our Muffin Nature Packets are ready to go. So you can come by and stop for those. And another thing, if you're not signed up for our summer reading, call, give us a call or stop by and sign up for summer reading. It's almost starting. It'll be starting next week. I cannot believe it's here. So next week we'll be getting our summer reading. So if you've not signed up yet, please do give us a call and just put your name down. That's all you have to do and we'll explain on the other um, information that you might need, okay? But until next time, we'll see you then. You all have a wonderful, wonderful week, okay? Mwah.